everybody my name is George and welcome to this JavaScript tutorial in this tutorial we are going to make a simple but very effective JavaScript calculator so what we are going to do is that we are also going to be using some HTML over here we are going to make a, like a well we don't need to make a form but we could and we are going to use some inputs so let's type here for example a text input um, where we're going to put uh, some some numbers for example and let's put another one over here uh, text input and we're going to give this input an ID and we're going to say okay well, this is the input A and this is input B and after we do that what we're going to do now is that we're going to uh, make another input that is going to be a button so we put type button and we're going to uh, use the on click event to trigger some method for example um, we're going to say here sum and the value is going to be sum okay this is wrong I just wrote, wrote it all wrong so let, let's just put sum and over here I'm going to create some other inputs for a rest and multiply over here I'm gonna put divide so let's change this for another method after I do this what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to create all these functions that I am using over here and in those functions we're going to uh, make this, the operation the uh, depending of, on what values we have over here so I'm going to create two variables for example A and B that will uh, correspond to these other two variables on the input and we're going to say okay a equals document dot get element by id and what this method does is that it obtains uh, the element for example uh, depending on what id I put over here for example if I say a I will look on our HTML and I will find that this element has the AD, uh, a ID so I will get this input and I can say okay now that I have that that element I will say value so I will get the value that what might be inside of this input and then I'm going to say B equals the same as above but instead of uh, saying A I will say B so I will get uh, the value that uh, I've tapped in here and I will also want to use the number function so that I'm sure that the I am doing these operations with numbers and not uh, any other things such as an, uh, such as a string for example so let's just uh, keep this over here and now I will write the functions so I will say that this will be a function um, I will put set values and I put them over here so now I have a function for setting these values after that I will make uh, the sum function for example sum I, s I use the function set values so we get the newest values that uh, are set up in here and with that I will just say okay now a result equals a plus b and I will just say alert the sum is equals to result I will also declare result over here and we can do the same for the other functions for example if I I will copy this and just
just do something like this and I will use for example the rest function to rest and the rest is equals to result is a minus b over here I will say this is the multiply function and the operation is equals to result and finally we just use the divide or div function the operation is equal to a divided by b so we save this program and we go over here to our web browser and we are going to reload this and we get this result we get uh, our first text box that will correspond to our a value because it is first and then uh, our B text box. So I will say 5 and I will put here uh, number 10 and I will do a sum function. So it will say the sum is equal to 15. And if I do the arrest function, it will say that it is equal to minus 5. And I can do the multiplication or the divide method. First of all, the division is equal to 0 0.5. Let me check what. Okay. The multiply function is not well written, so I will change this reload and now I can use the multiplication function so 50 and 50 and let's just multiply and the operation is equals to 100 this is wrong what the hell is going on over here okay it has a plus so let's change it to a multiplication now we are sure our code is correct and we can put 50 and 50 and 50 times 50 is obviously uh, 2500 so I guess I guess that's it uh, you can do uh, all the other functions and that's our basic calculator so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, we used uh, a little bit of functions and we also use uh, the number function and we use a little bit of DOM of the document object model so uh, by the way if you do not understand these lines basically what we are doing over here is that we're uh, accessing the document our HTML document and we get all elements uh, depending of the ID that it's on them for example of the ID property that this input tag has um, we can find this element depending of of the ID we write over here and then we get this value so that's pretty much it it's not really that complicated so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you find it a little bit fun working with JavaScript so I'll see you guys later don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so see you later bye bye